In this video, we're going to talk about matrix algebra, the algebra of matrix. All right, a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers or elements that are arranged in rows and columns. So, when numbers are arranged in rows and columns to form an array, we call it a matrix. This is a matrix, for example, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 6, 0, 3, 9, 9. This is a matrix. In a matrix, we have the horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment. The horizontal are the rows. The vertical are the columns. So in this case now, I have three rows, three columns. The horizontal, the rows, um, the vertical, the columns. Now we'll talk about the order of a matrix, order of a matrix. If a matrix has n number of rows and n number of columns, the order of that matrix is m by n. So the order of a matrix is the number of rows by the number of columns. It is either we say order, dimension, or size of a matrix. A matrix that has one row, one row, is called a row vector. All right, it has one row. Look at it. One, two, three, six, seven. For example, this is a row. It has one row. And it has one, two, three, four, five, five columns. It has one row and multiple columns. So this is a row vector. A matrix with one column is called a column vector. It is either we say row vector or row matrix. Column vector or column matrix. So one column, two, three, six, for example, is a column vector because it has one column, all right, and multiple rows. Here we have a row vector or a row matrix. It has one row and multiple columns. Let's consider some types of matrices like the square matrix. In a square matrix, the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. Right? So I have something like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Minus 1, minus 6, 7, 0. For example, it has 4 rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 columns, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is a square matrix. This is a 4 by 4, 4 by 4 matrix. 2, 6, 0, minus 1. 2 rows and 2 columns. This is a 2 by 2 square matrix. Also, we have the triangular matrix. Triangular matrix. So, a triangular matrix is of two types. We have the lower or left triangular matrix, upper or right triangular matrix. So, the upper triangular matrix and the lower triangular matrix. For an upper triangular matrix, upper triangular matrix, this is how it looks like. One, let's say one zero minus one, zero three six, zero zero five. For example, take note: a triangular matrix is always a square matrix. That is, the number of rows is always equal to the number of columns. You see this? It is called a principal diagonal. It is either I say principal diagonal or I say I just said principal diagonal, or I say mean diagonal, or I say leading diagonal. It starts from the top left to the bottom right. So when all the numbers in a, in a square matrix below the principal diagonals are zero, it is called an upper triangular matrix or a right triangular matrix. For a lower triangular matrix, Lower triangular matrix. Look at it. It's still a square matrix. Let's see. Um, minus 2, 6, 4, 0, 0, 3, 0, 1, 5. For example, this is the principal diagonal. 
all the elements above the principal diagonals, all the numbers are zero, 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 zero. In this case, all the numbers are below. That's number that are zero are below zero, zero, zero. Here they are above zero, zero, zero. So this is a lower triangular matrix. When all the numbers above the principal diagonals are zero, that matrix is called lower triangular. And when all the numbers below the principal diagonals are zero, it is called an upper triangular matrix. Now let us see a special case of the triangular matrix. See something. We can have a matrix where something like 2, 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 3, 0, 0, 3. In this case now, the matrix is both, look at the principal diagonal. At the top, at the above the principal diagonal, we have all number 0. Below, we have all number 0. This type of matrix is called a diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix. So in the diagonal matrix, all the elements above and all the elements below the principal diagonals are zero. So the only non-zero numbers in that matrix are the numbers along the principal diagonal. A special case of the diagonal matrix is what we call this identity matrix or the unit matrix. In the unit matrix, all the elements along the principal diagonals are one. Look at it. We call this unit or identity matrix. Okay? So when all the numbers along the principal diagonals are 1 and all other numbers are 0, it is a unit matrix. So a unit matrix is also a square matrix. It is always a square matrix. Let's see another type of matrix. We call this the null or zero matrix. When all the elements in the matrix are zero, okay, zero, 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 zero. It is called a null or zero matrix. That's it. So we are going to consider some other special types of matrices later like the symmetric matrix the symmetric matrix the skew symmetric matrix and the singular matrix so we'll talk about them what they are and how to show that a matrix is symmetric singular or skew symmetric Thanks for watching this video. This is an introduction to matrices. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to talk about the algebra of matrices. Keep following. Support this channel by subscribing, like, and share this video to your friends and to your classmates. I am the Complex Analyzer.